Tato Mori Gai, okay. Hey everybody, welcome back, and today we are going to be talking about Kelly Reichardt's latest film, First Cow. Reichardt has been the director I've kind of been enamoured with over the last, like, 18 months. I watched Certain Women, and I was like, wow, why have I not watched any of the films prior? And slowly and gradually I'm going through her filmography, I'm still going through it as we speak. But First Cow has kind of reignited my passion to kind of continue my Reichardt journey. Um, this film was actually a success within critic circles, within film festivals, and it was one of the last films to be playing in cinemas in New York before the pandemic really kicked off. And it's a shame really not as many people got to see it within the cinema, but now it's going to be become more available online, and let's just talk about it. First Cow follows a tack turn loner and a skill cook as he has travelled west and joined a group of fur trappers in our own territory. Though he only finds true connection with a Chinese immigrant also looking for his fortune. Soon the two collaborate on a successful business, although its longevity is reliant upon the clandestine participation of a nearby wealthy landowner's prized milking cow. First Cow is deeply touching and emotionally pulls you in from the get-go. The quintessential part of Reichardt's career has been framing and the settings that she places the films within. And they are very natural backgrounds. And within First Cow, obviously, we have a flourish of this kind of setting. And within this kind of setting, you sense the emotion, you sense the tone of what the characters are going through without us actually having to hear them say anything. And that's the class part of Raika is where she can pull you in with this beautiful natural imagery. And combining this then with her actors, her actors don't have to say much, but they're there you can sense something from the posture, from the face, and it just gels well together. And this is how the momentum of First Cow kind of churns. You get churn, ha ha. And it just continues in this twisty kind of drama that really a lot more people should be watching. The whole concept of First Cow is really an exploration of the American dream, integration, about capitalism. This has been discussed widely, but after watching it, I really do agree with it. The whole idea of the American dream is taking risks and trying to make the best of a situation that you're in and working with people that you may not even know properly. And through the whole idea of this American dream, we see this kind of like concept of making biscuits, which look absolutely delicious, by the way. It kind of just churns this very humble story that builds into a wonderful friendship. And I love the connection between Cookie and King Lou. They are, it's a very warm and embracing kind of idea. It's a very organic friendship. And it just shows how people can just get along. And in a strange way, Reichardt is making a point of this. But also, as I mentioned, capitalism is a major part of this film. Even though it's a very simple concept of a cow and a landowner, but capitalism is real. And capitalism is a corrupt way of making your way within life. And there's no, like, Reichardt's not going like, hey, hey, can you see the capitalism in this film? It, it just flourishes. You just sense it. As I said, the, the quintessential aspect of First Cow is the framing. And this sense of corrupt evil <laughs> through a cow <laughs> and, well, Toby Jones, you see this and I would honestly let you decide whether or not it is true, but you can feel it within, within First Cow itself. On the surface, First Cow may seem quiet and as I've explained, it really bursts into a joyous piece of life, but a very asserting one. John Legaro and the Ryan Lee really helm this film beautifully and their connection and their rapport with Raikant and that trust that they have with each other build First Cow into this very well established piece of film and this culmination of idea cinematography and Reichardt's natural flair for 
The Outsider just makes First Cow a very fascinating watch and it's one of the finest films of 2020, no question of a doubt. Seek it if you can, very, very beautiful film. Right then, that's my First Cow review. Have you seen First Cow yet? Let me know what you thought of it. Always eager to know, comment section is always open. What is your favourite Kelly Rycat film if you've not seen it yet? Again, I'm always intrigued to know. Hello new subscribers, hello old subscribers. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for continuous support. Like, share, do whatever you please. What have you been watching? What have you picked up? Recommendations are always, always open here. Yeah. And don't forget, tonight it is the 10th of July. We have talking movies and we are joined by Eric, Asian movie enthusiast, and Peter from Nazarin Prod, along with the wonderful Huss from A Touch of Film. And we are going to be picking our five favourite Sean Sono movies, as we have discussed them so many times, but love exposure is not allowed. So, see you tonight, 8pm GMT. Links in the description. See you then. And, as we normally say on this channel, Dio danke, obrigado, merci beaucoup, arigato, danke, shen, bitte, shen, all the shins. And obviously, never change. Moo moo.